This lesson deals with electric power and the passive sign convention. Let's define power. Power is the rate at which energy is transformed. We express this mathematically as the change in energy per change in time. If the change is small enough, you have a derivative. Power is in watts, energy is in joules, and time is in seconds. Now, as a consequence of this definition and our previous definitions of voltage and current, we can show our relationship with power. Again, power is the change in energy per change in time. Voltage is the change in energy per change in charge. And current is the change in charge per change in time. The delta Q's cancel, and you get change in energy per change in time. And again, that's voltage times current. So power is the change in energy per change in time, but it's also the voltage times the current. The total energy transferred during a time interval starting at t0 and ending at t1 can be found by taking our equation for the definition of power and integrating both sides of the equation. So let's do that. Take the integral from t0 to t1 of power dt, and let's replace power by the change in energy per change in time, the delta t's cancel, and we get the integral of dw, and this is just simply the, the integral of dx. You evaluate it at the upper limit minus the lower limit. So the change in energy from t1 to t0 is the integral of power from t0 to t1. We could also find the energy at time t1, and that would be the integral of power from t0 to t1 plus an initial condition of the energy at t0. Let's next take a look at what's called a passive sign convention. Suppose they have a circuit with a two terminal element hooked up to it, where the current is coming into the plus terminal and out of the minus terminal. Whenever the reference direction of current into a two terminal device is in the direction of the reference voltage drop across the device, then the power absorbed or dissipated is positive. In other words, the product of voltage times current is greater than or equal to zero. This is called a passive sign convention. If the power is generated or extracted, then the power absorbed is negative. Voltage sources and current sources usually generate power. However, battery absorbs power when it's being recharged. Let's do an example of power absorbed. Suppose I have a circuit and a two terminal element and I measure the voltage and I measure the current and the voltage is in this direction as a plus 12, and the current is flowing in this direction as 3 amps. Find the power absorbed by the element. If we want to make this look like the picture on the last page, we need to put the plus sign on the top here and the minus sign on the bottom. So we'll just do that. Let's flip the direction of the voltage polarity, and when you do that, you've got to change the sign of the value, measured or symbolically. Now I've got the current entering the plus terminal and leaving the minus terminal. So it's the product then of 3 amps and minus 12 volts. Power absorbed is minus 36 watts. In reality, this element is generating 36 watts of power. You can also do this just with the strict definition. Let's do that also. With the original definition of voltage that's here, the current was going in the opposite direction. Let's flip the direction such that the current is entering the plus terminal and coming out of the minus terminal. Again, when you do that, you've got to change the sign of the quantity. So the plus 3 amps becomes a minus 3 amps. And again, it's now the product of the voltage times the current, where the current is entering the plus terminal, leaving the minus terminal. And you get the same answer. So it makes no difference how you do this as long as the current enters the plus and leaves the minus terminal. In the course, we're going to use a lowercase p with no subscript to indicate power absorbed. Sometimes to emphasize that I'm absorbing power, I may put a subscript of AB. When we talk about power generated, I'm going to have to put a subscript on here to basically contradict what I have here, which is defaulted to be absorbed. If power is generated, I'll use a subscript of GEN. In this last example, we had power absorbed, get a lowercase p equal to minus 36 watts, but you could also say that this is power generated of 36 watts by changing the sign and then changing the subscript. And these are some of the definitions of electric power and the passive sign convention.